guys, today we're going to talk about Clavio. Clavio. I don't even know, to be honest, how to say it. But we're going to talk about what it is and how you can use our templates to create a quick campaign in Clavio. I'm going to say it like that. So just hopefully that's right. Create a quick campaign and kind of some basics of how to do it. I get a lot of questions from you guys just kind of asking how to use it. What do I do? How do I get my template to work? Like I've never seen a template for this software before and how do I use it and what process do I have to go through? So I'm just making this quick video just to show you a little bit more inside the platform and exactly what you're going to want to do to use a template and kind of, and if you don't have a template, this will just help you with the editor a little bit to be able to learn how to use it. Just real quick, if you don't know what Clavio is, it is an email marketing software similar to MailChimp or Constant Contact, or there's a wide variety of email marketing software out there. And it's really great for people who use Shopify. It actually, I think it's rising in popularity because of Shopify. It's suggested to work well with Shopify. So a lot of users are kind of coming into this platform. It's very easy to use. It's got some great plans for both beginners and advanced people. I'm not associated with them at all. I really just like the program. So that's just a little brief thing about it. And now let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna show you the email that we're gonna be working on today in Clavio. And this is one of our templates and it's just a starting place to make an email newsletter. And you'll see you can put your logo. We've got this header graphic right here, which we'll be customizing in Canva. And then down here we have place for pictures, different sections, depending on what you want your layout to look like and different buttons, social links, the mandatory unsubscribe, everything's right in there. So that's kind of what we'll be creating and looking at today, just so you get a look at that. So let's continue on. All right, so if you do grab that particular template from our website, which I'll leave the link below, to see um, what other templates we have available that kind of go with that one as well. If you do grab that, this is what you'll receive. You will receive a link to the Canva header graphic, which I showed you in the previous shot. And you'll be able to just click that and open up your template for the header right in Canva. So it's right here. And you'll be able to just go ahead and easily customize this. So we'll just go ahead and show you real quick. So I do have another tutorial about Canva basics on my channel, so I can link that as well. And you can just watch that if you're not really sure how to use Canva or hopefully you do know how to use it. But real briefly, we'll just pop in some photos. Obviously, there's no rhyme or reason to these. This is not a great design, but it's just kind of showing you how quickly you can customize this header. If you decide you don't want this texture, you can just get rid of it. And you could put in a solid color instead. Or a different texture, or nothing at all. You can really make this into whatever you want. And it's sized to fit inside the email. Obviously, guys, do not copy this design. This is, like, absolutely terrible. But it's just to show you what you can do like look at this beauty right here and then when you're done customizing the canva portion of your template you'll just want to go ahead and download that as a png you can just save that anywhere on your computer and put it aside for later unfortunately it doesn't send it right to clavio like it does to mailchimp maybe someday but they don't have that set up yet all right, so after you've customized your header graphic in Canva the way that you want and you love it, it looks great, you're ready to go, you are ready to access the rest of the template. And I would probably actually do this first just so that you can make sure that we have time to transfer the template while you're working on the header just to save even more time. And we tend to get the request like right away. I pretty much am always checking my email. So what if I'm like not asleep or something, I'm probably going to send the template over to you within an hour or two. So these are the instructions that are going to show you how to do that. So you'll have done steps one and two to customize your Canva header and three. 
So now we're going to access the Clavio template. So if you don't have an account, obviously time to create one in Clavio. And then you'll just kind of go through these steps, but we'll do it on video because I know some people learn better that way. So let's do that. And I'm going to go ahead and go into my Clavio account right now as though I were a guest. All right, so I went ahead and logged into my Clavio account. And you can see that this is your homepage, your dashboard. You can access all your campaigns, everything you've got going on right here on the side. So the next thing you'll want to do is go up to where you see your name and your little avatar, click on that and click on account. And it'll bring up this screen. And then you'll want to go up to settings and hit users. Then you're going to want to go ahead and add a new user. And you're going to want to enter my email, which is actually already on here, but it's Tamara at 31palms.com. And then you'll want to add me as a content creator. That way I can't, you know, see anything in your account and, you know, go crazy and just delete your whole account. Not that I would do that anyways, but you can rest assured that I won't be able to with this particular set of permissions. And then you'll go ahead and add user. I'm actually already added myself on this account, so it's not going to do it, but you'll see that I'll be a content creator in here just like this once you do that. If you're just here to kind of go over the basics of the editor, obviously skip this part. I'll definitely put timestamps in this video so you can just skip right over this part because you won't have a template. So the next thing that you're going to want to do if you do have a template is wait for us to approve that request and send you the template. Unfortunately, there's no other way without requesting it for me to get it to you. So you will have to wait for that request. Like I said, I usually answer them pretty much right away. It takes me two seconds to transfer it to you from pretty much anywhere. And you can always send me a message or email if you are wondering if I got your request. So after we send you the template, you'll be able to go into email templates and you'll see it just sitting right here. So I sent myself this one from my creator account. And now it's in here and it's ready to customize. So this is where you'll want to tune in. If you just want to see how to use the editor, it would be the same for any template or campaign that you're going to create. You're going to get the same editor. So we'll want to go in here and edit the template or create a campaign and, you know, bring up the custom drag and drop editor. If you do want to just create a whole new campaign, no template, you just go up here to campaigns instead of email templates create a campaign, email, create campaign, um, fill out all this. You'll be able to continue to your content. Just kind of add that in right now. And here's where you'll be able to pick if you want to use the drag and drop editor and you can access it from there as well. Use one of these or just use blank. Here's the blanks and then my templates is going to be, we'll go over this again later, where you're going to access any template that you purchased and customized. So I just wanted to show you how to get into the editor if you don't have a template real quick. All right, so now back to using our template. We would have opened it up in the editor and now we can go through and customize it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is add our logo. I've just got this stand-in image here. You'll just go to replace image and you'll be able to choose from any images that you have uploaded already or your computer product catalog or another URL. So you'll just want to put your logo in first. The next thing you'll want to do is replace image again, same process, except you'll have your header that you created in Canva and you can upload that from your computer. Remember we saved it a few steps back. And that's pretty easy to do right there, just replacing a couple photos. And now we're going to get into working on the rest of the email. So we've got a text block for our header, various things here. We've got image blocks, any image you can just replace just as easily as we did with these two. And any text box, you'll just be able to just edit the text very easily right in the editor. So the first thing we'll want to do using the editor is look at our universal styles. So these will apply to the entire email, no matter what you do, all text, all colors, 
and you will find that under the styles tab right here. This is going to be for the whole thing. You'll be able to customize separately and I'll show you how to do that. If you want one button, a different color, one text box to have a different text, but this is the universal customization area. So right here under styles and you'll be able to set the width of your email, which is how wide this is right here. The background is going to be this color right here. So if you want to change that, you'll do it here. Content background is what it says right back here. So where the white is, you can change things like the border. You can have a border around here. Border radius is going to be your corners. So if you wanted rounded corners, you could do that there. And your things like your padding and your margins, you'll be able to change the amount of space that appears right here. Next, you'll be able to pick a font color. So you want to kind of keep that consistent throughout your email. You'll be able to pick whether your text is justified center, left or right, and you'll be able to pick a universal font size and line height and the letter spacing. So that means the space right in here. And remember this will apply to all the blocks unless you go back and change it later. Next up, we've got links. So you'll be able to link things just in the text, like what we doesn't show it here, but when it's live, it would show it the unsubscribe link. Or if you just want to link text to something on your website, this is the color for that. And then we have our headings. So normally on a website, you might recognize there's heading, different heading levels, like an H1, H2, H3, and four we have. So an H1 is going to be the most important heading. And you can make those a certain color, font, size, and you'll be able to set four different headings. So remember, H1 should be the most big and bold and colorful, exciting heading. And it should kind of go down from there until an H4 is just not that exciting. If they get a little smaller, I just have them set like that. And you won't even really probably be using four different heading styles. So focus on H1 and H2. So once you've customized your headings the way you want, you can customize mobile settings. I would always enable optimizations and you know, having 100% content width just so it does look nice on phones. You can preview it on phone by clicking up here. We want to be able to see our content, make everything stack correctly and make it easy to read for our viewers when they're on their phone. So this will just help us to customize that a little more, make sure that our headings again and our text are the right size for mobile so that they can be easily read. Usually whatever's default here is pretty good. You can set your currency. And if you wanted a background image, so if you are, if you want this to be an image instead, you could set that in there. And then you just go ahead and save your changes and that'll kind of set the universal styling for your template. So this blocks area will let you add basic things to your email. You would just drag them right in and drop them. So you can always add something else to the template if it's lacking something or you don't see something you want. Super easy to drag them in and get rid of them. They're pretty self-explanatory what they are. Columns, text images, buttons, header link bar, social links, a table. You can read these yourself super easy. There's not too many choices, so you won't get totally overwhelmed. And once you do pull something in, you can easily just move it again. It's really easy to just drag and drop saves you lots of time. So now you'll be able to customize everything else. And if you just click on these, you'll see an additional option appears block styles. This will let you customize each block. So it'll take away the universal styling that we set before. And you can make just one block something different. This one, the universal styling is applied. So there's just nothing specified, nothing set, nothing changed. And you could change that if you wanted to. And every block will have that available to style it differently than what you did in your universal styling. Like here you can see we have different color, different font, different size than the universal text styling. And to make sure that you're getting the right headline that you want, you would want to go in here and select it and you can pick, you know, heading one, heading two, however you styled it in the universal is what it's going to come out to be. So you could pick something totally different and just click on the different headings, like I'd said, and it'll look exactly like you styled it in the universal settings. 
So the basics to remember again are the universal styles, set the tone for the entire email. And that is what I've used on the templates to set everything. And then if you want to change just one block, the block styles will override those universal settings to allow you to change just one or two things and you can set everything right in there. So you just go for your template, add in what you want, remove things, move things around, drag and drop them. Very easy to do. Link your buttons up. Obviously, you're going to want to put some kind of link there. You can make your buttons longer, shorter, whatever works for you. Link up your social media URLs. And you always want to have to have an unsubscribe link at the bottom of your emails. They just put this default one. Just leave it like no need to change it. It already is going to pull this information from your account. Just don't mess with it. I've had people break this code and then we have to go in and fix that for them. You don't want to do that. So once you've completed everything and your campaign is ready to go, you'll want to save and return to your templates. I do want to quickly point out too that you can preview your template. You can show it directly in Clavio, just like that. Or you can email it to yourself. And you'll be able to take a look at it in your emails to see exactly how it would look in your inbox. So I just wanted to throw that in there too. So if you've created a template and you want to save it, whether you've created it for yourself or you've used one of our templates, now you want to make it into a campaign. You'll just go over to campaigns. And we did briefly cover this before, but you'll hit create a campaign, choose an email, create campaign, Fill in all this good stuff. Who do you want to send it to? Who you don't want to send it to and just go through with that. Continue to your content. And you'll pick the drag and drop editor. And in there, you'll just go to my templates and you'll find that the template you customized will be sitting right in there. And it'll give you another chance to customize it again if you're still You've changed your mind and then you'll go to save content. Once that's all set, you'll see a quick preview right here. Obviously fill in your subject and your, your preview text. You can look at it in mobile. So you get an idea of how it will stack. You can edit it again, change, pick a different template, save your changes as another template. If you made more changes in that last step, and then you can go ahead and continue to the review. I have to put something in here, it looks like. And you'll be able to just run through this list to make sure everything looks the way you want it to. And then you'll be able to schedule or send your campaign. And you are done. You have created an email campaign pretty quickly. You've customized everything, whether you've used the template or you haven't. I really hope that this helps you to just learn the editor super easy. Again, the most important thing to remember is the universal styling makes things super simple and you can always override that with customizing each block too, which is a pretty cool feature there. So there you have it. I hope that it helped you to figure out how to use the program and use it with our templates as well. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more tips like this. And if you would like to grab one of the Clavio templates that we've used in this video, I will link those down below. And you can save 10% on any of those just for watching this video with the code YouTube10 at checkout. And hope you guys enjoy. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions as you're going along. Always here to help. And we'll see you in the next one.